A local congressman sparking a political firestorm this week when he compared vaccine mandates to Nazi Germany during the Holocaust. Earlier today, Warren Davidson apologized for that tweet, but as Local 12's James Pilcher discovered, some say that isn't enough. On Wednesday, Republican Congressman Warren Davidson issued this tweet comparing a vaccine passport imposed by the Washington, D.C. mayor to a health document required of many in Nazi Germany. He was immediately denounced by many in the Jewish community, with Germany blocking the tweet because of its statements about Nazism. Thursday, Davidson tweeted out this apology, saying in part, I appreciate my Jewish friends who have explained their perspectives and feel horrible that I have offended anyone. Davidson's office did not respond to requests for comment. Jackie Congetto with the local Jewish Community Relations Council welcomed the apology, but said it doesn't go far enough. At the same time, I, you know, I'm, I'm concerned that the tweet is still up and active and out there. Um, you know, I, I am hopeful that he will also remove the tweet that was offensive. Davidson is the latest area congressman to refer to Nazi Germany and the Holocaust when talking about COVID policy. Last August, Northern Kentucky Republican Thomas Massey compared vaccine passports to ID numbers tattooed on arms by Nazis in a tweet he later deleted. Democratic U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio condemned any comparisons of COVID-19 policies with the Holocaust, which saw Nazi Germany kill as many as 6 million Jews in Europe during World War II. Um, to compare them to the most um, heinous, awful, creature that the 20th century um, produced, Adolf Hitler and his movement to compare it to that, um, only throws more gasoline on this, on this fiery division of the American people. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. And we should note here that Jewish leaders invited Davidson to tour a local Holocaust memorial and museum. Local 12 also reached out to other area Republican leaders about Davidson's tweet, but they either didn't respond or were not available for an interview.